<laughs> Shh. Hey, everybody. Hi, everyone. What's happening? All right, Master Spa's Facebook Live, Lisa. We haven't we haven't been on in a couple of weeks, few weeks, and we so we do apologize. Reason. We have been insanely busy and traveling all over. It's not because we don't love you. And we are not even in our own warehouse right now. We are at Master's Boss headquarters in the main, what is going on here? In the main showroom in Indiana, where we pretty much have almost, not quite. A lot of product. But a lot of product. Charlie. So that we thought that it would be a good idea to do just a product product Q and A, so that if you had a question about a specific product of Master Spas, that we could show it to you and answer any of your what questions. Are you tired? I'm, are you tired? I'm, I'm, right. I'm tired of talking. So we've done we've done a crazy three week tour. We've been all over Ohio, Indiana, California, yeah. Indiana again. It's been crazy, so that's why we've been gone. I know typically we wait a minute, we just sort of nonsense talk while everyone hops on here. Susan. Hi Susan. So Hi, so remember if you hop on here, make sure you comment where you're watching from. We love love to see that stuff. It's always, you know, so interesting to see where it goes. And we'll give everyone a few minutes to hop on here. Uh, it's just been a crazy couple of weeks, but it's all really good stuff and We've been doing some weird events and convention stuff and stuff with the cold tubs, and it's just really cool. So when we're here, we, we always like to have the opportunity. Hey, Jim. Uh, we like to have the opportunity because here we have almost all of our products. We have all the new saunas. We have the, all the cold tubs. We have more than one swim spa. So it's just really, really cool to be here. So if you have questions on something, uh, it could be anything, any question, ready to go. It's awesome. Windsor, Ontario, very cool. Bayou County, Paul. Where's Bayou County, Paul? Louisiana. It sounds like that, yeah. but that's just because of the word Bayou in it. I'm not <laughs> sure. So, awesome. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, we knew it was you. And uh, so everything is really kind of cool right now. We're, uh, we're just getting done here. So tomorrow we actually get to go home for the weekend and we're at Louisiana. Paul, yeah. you're right. It's just the word Bayou. It feels like it belongs in Louisiana. Yeah. Mary, your hair looks fine. I know. Okay, so we can run around. We can show you some things. We got nine people on there. Uh, a little light, but the weather here is so nice. So I think it was Jim, and I think we did get a couple of questions pre pre live, um, which Sorry. you can you can answer questions while we are live. But we did get a couple questions pre live, and I think Jim that Jim in New Hampshire answered one, and we can answer that right now. So they uh, they are awaiting delivery of a trainer fifteen deep. And they ordered it with the Master Pure system, which has the added UV and the Quiet Flow circulating pump. Mm -hmm. Can you explain how that works and what's your opinion of it? I've also heard that one of the pumps has to run continually for this system, and is that true? So that is how it used to be. So when you add the Master Pure, it is adding a, a UV ozone system on top of the standard well, UV light box um, on top uh, sorry, of the ozone. UV yeah. You are tired. <laughs> yes, sorry. A UV filtration system on top of the standard ozone. Yep. And when you do that, you're adding a circulating pump. So it is a third pump in that tub that is circulating the water and it's running your filter cycles. It used to be that it was a 24-hour circulating pump. And now they're making it so that it is a eco smart pump. So but it, it is adjustable. It is adjustable, so but the set point on where it's set when it's delivered on the brand new ones uh, is is set for like you know however many hours a day. So it can be twenty four hours, or it doesn't have to be. But it sounds like sorry to hijack you there. That's fine. It sounds like uh, Jim, you're asking if the main pump has to run anyway, even though you have the additional circ pump, and it doesn't. So you can't shut your, fil your regular filter cycles are pump one on low in a Trainer 15D. You can't shut that off, but you can turn it all the way down to 15 minutes a day. So like it, I have the Master Pure uh, on my Challenger 15 at home, and I turn that regular filter cycle all the way down 
so that it doesn't come on because it's unnecessary because the circ pump is running. Okay. So uh, what else was in there? So that what, is. What's your opinion on it? I. So I like the 24-hour circ pump. Um, if I had the system, you know, and keep in mind that if you run it 24 hours a day in that circ pump, it's going to cost more money to run, but the, the you have continually moving water. So it is, it is a nice system in there. So I like it. I, I have it at my house, and it's worked well. Uh, meanwhile, at the showroom, we've had them before that didn't have it, and they work okay too. The, it's, it's a little extra bump in filtration, um, and it's nice. It's nice. So I, I think you'll be real happy with it. All right? All right. You want to walk around or you want to go through questions? Um, maybe we should go. We actually have quite a few questions here that came in, so we can go through those. Okay. Um, uh, another question is, and you know, we don't have, I thought we might have a trainer 12 in here, but we don't. There used, there was one right yeah. over there in the corner. So Katie from Oregon, they're deciding between a trainer 12 and a trainer 15. And there are a couple with no kids, five, seven, and they are worried they might need more room to swim at their height, is that true? And if they did go with the 15 standard, is it too much for just a couple? So honestly, Katie, you can't go wrong either way. At 5'7", if both of you are 5'7", you are going to fit fine and swim okay in the 12 foot. If anyone taller were to go in, even at like 5'10", 5'11", yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're going to need a 15, but it, it, but if it is truly just the two of you swimming in there, then it's, it's plenty. I don't think that the 15 foot is overkill for two people, especially if one of you is swimming and one of you is sitting in the back therapy seats. Because in the 12 foot, if you were to do that, the person sitting in the hot tub seat the is going to get pretty splashed and so, possibly kicked. So I, I'm not just in all It just honesty. sounded funny. So <laughs> with me, I'm five foot eight, five foot seven and a half, literally. Sometimes, um, I, you know, you're supposed to swim with your, your, your legs like this. You're not supposed to, you know, sprawl out. In a trainer 12, if you sprawl out, you are likely going to hit a step. Um, sometimes I sprawl a little bit and I tend to hit a step at my height in there I'm always going to recommend the 15 yeah you know if you have and the space it, and it's not that much of a there's pre not, we're not a big we're not, price a, we're not an upsell you guys know that we don't upsell you know just for the sake of upselling there's a reason the trainer 15d is the world's most sold swim spa and it just always well comes they would out even even the 15 lower absolutely height, oh, even, oh, awesome. it's yeah. it's the jets, the jets are a little bit different in the therapy seat. Um, you're getting the the waterfall features in there as well. So I mean, the the I mean, well, the lights are standard. Unless it was now. a space issue in yeah. your yard. That would be that would be honestly the only reason. If you have the space for the 15, you're not going to regret it. And with two people in there, you can put floats in there in the summertime, and it's just awesome. Because I mean, Beth and I have that, and ultimately it's just us in there. That the kids, um, Junior moved out. Uh, he and his girlfriend Lucy moved out and then summer is still there But she typically goes in with Beth and not when Beth and I are in there So but there's enough room for two people with floats in the 15 yeah. footer. It's just it's, just, it's really awesome yeah. yeah, it's really awesome And then if you have a party or something you could get a bunch of people involved in that situation So I, I'm just a huge fan of that 15 footer and you know for a, a marginal price difference as long as you have the space uh, It's win-win for sure. So that's my take on I think this is a good question for you, Ben. This is from Scott in New Mexico. Hi, Scott. What level of overall strength and fitness could I gain with a master spa? I'm 61. I used to be in excellent fitness, but age and a desk job without adequate exercise has taken a toll, and I want to be strong again. Thanks. Are we talking swimming, or it doesn't necessarily say? I've overall, overall fitness and strength. So, I mean... Here's the thing, when it comes to the exercise and fitness in a swim spa, the water is our margin for error. You know, as we age, it's still totally, so I'm 49, um, work out hard, I'm still very strong. What I've lost is, is my margin for error. I have to be more cautious than I was previously, and we're crossfitting currently, so we're sort of beating on ourselves pretty good. Um, so I would tell you, uh, Scott, that there's tremendous gains to be had you know, in strength, and not only strength, but also 
flexibility, mobility, and balance, all those things get addressed in a swim spot. And we actually have programs written. Yeah. In our, in, you know, on our YouTube page, the Master Spots has a YouTube page. There's programs already written, so there's tons on there uh, for you to benefit from. So I would, I, I would mm. recommend looking at, and they are all on the YouTube channel, Master Spots YouTube channel, is to take a look at the 1590 day challenge. So it's about 15 minutes a day, but you can extend that to be, you know, 30 minutes a day. Sure. And you're doing each set. There's six sets of workouts that you would do. So for two weeks, uh, so set one, you do for two weeks before you move on to set two, which you do for two weeks, then three and so on. And basically that program is kind of like a periodization program where you're you are working on improving your strength and fitness over right. those 90 days and i think you will see significant changes yeah. in your in your fitness in your flexibility um, but, even but also, in your strength and also mobility you know we're talking about balance and stabilizing yeah. muscles so as we age as humans what's happening is we're losing our our stabilization that's where if you've ever heard someone say I used to have great balance, but now I don't have great balance. Uh, we were just talking about this today here. That's what it is. The small supportive muscles around each joint are weakening because they're the smallest muscles in our body. Whereas your big muscles, your, you know, your, your legs, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, they're not going anywhere. Those major muscle groups are fine. It's the small ones that deteriorate first, and those are the ones that provide balance. So we're going to address all that stuff in the swim spots, and it works really, really well. So you should you should have a definitely a, an increase and a bump in fitness, in strength, in quality of life, in wellness, uh, all of the above, and and just feeling better. Yeah. you should feel better. The fitter we are, we always feel better. Sure. You know, and some of that is mental, as you yeah. know. Yeah. You know, when we do the right thing, we do take good care of ourselves. We're feeling good. We're feeling po the energy is positive. So it's just all good stuff. So I, I would say you'll you'll have a huge huge bump in that and really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so if you are just joining us right now, we're just we're doing like a little Q and A on product. We are at Master Spa's main showroom in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So we have access to quite a bit of different products from from Master Spa's. So we can answer any of your questions if you have any. Um, we are currently just answering the questions that came in ahead of time because we got quite a few, and. Uh, we're just we're just getting to those and but if you have any that you want to submit live we're here now so fire away bring them on next question is from Doug in Nebraska is there a better explanation than the owner's manual about how you set the stream of swim jet water from moving from the 12 and 6 o'clock positions to the jets at 11 and 1 can you shut down 12 and 6 completely and only swim in the stream of 11 and 1? So the the jet the jets come out of the top two and the bottom two. So you can't like you can't turn off the side two and the side two because pump pump one pump is gonna be for the top two jets and the second pump or the other pump is for the bottom two jets so you can't adjust the flow on the two of the two side jets but that's also if you wouldn't want that because the top you need it to flow um, symmetrically and so if you only had the top the side two jets um, it wouldn't it would kind of affect the flow yeah, sure. and make it like swirl yeah it's got to be centered so i i think that's what you're asking however um you can with I, I don't know which swim spa you're talking about but in any of the trainer series swim spas you can if you're adjusting the top two and the bottom two you can have the top two so i don't know 12 and 11 and 12 you can have those more more current and the bottom two you can lower manually right. so it's not as much power right. and you can kind of adjust the direction a little bit by adjusting those jets but if you have um 
Doug, if you have any other way of asking that, that we're not addressing it the right way, just shoot it on here yeah, or, or right shoot us And even a, if it's afterwards, we'll, direct, we'll jump on later. Yeah. So that's no problem. And you guys understand what we mean? The jets are, are adjustable a little bit? We should go show that. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to turn this around because it'll be more fun to look around than look at me. Yeah, we don't usually get to look at a train. Though. Right. Do, 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 do. Hopping in. Okay, Trainer 15D, world's most sold swim spa. So I'm gonna pull this right up and show you. So these are the jets, they're adjustable. That's intentional, okay? So you have some play in there. And for swimming in a Trainer 15, I like the, the upper jets pointed all the way up, or I'm sorry, the lower jets pointed all the way up and the upper jets pointed all the way down provides the best, smoothest current here, okay? So keep in mind, that those jets are adjustable and you should adjust them. All right, coming out. Okay. Next question, and I, I feel as though we might not be able to answer this um, effectively, but could you demonstrate how to open the access cover? I'm not convinced that I'm rolling it correctly and the user manual is a little confusing. So we do not have we access have to here. an access Cover here. And the new one is a little different. So if we had one, it would be the brand new spanking new right. one. Is yours brand new or is it a couple years old? And that's Flavius in DC. That, so that we don't have here. To I, do. I just, I, I don't think there's really. It's hard to show, a wrong way. but there. Yeah. I don't think there's a wrong way as long as it's. You just kind of want to tighten it up as much as possible. And, then, and I will admit, it's not as easy as yep. it looks you know, in so, a picture. And I, I believe the new one is, is mm -hmm. a little lighter, a little easier, but you got to make sure, uh, and we're always, you know, we're never quite sure exactly if the question is, is being answered correctly, but on, a, on an access cover, let's say you had a 15 footer, there's no, no end space on that swim spot. So you need to run a shelf on the end so right. that it sits on. So if you're, if the question is really, I feel like I'm opening it up, but it's still kind of in the swim spa, maybe you don't have a cover shelf and that's something that you can add uh, to get it out of the way. If that's right. what you're asking, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm answering it correctly or not. Okay. So, but I don't have one here for us to, to pop yeah. open. Um, next question is from Cindy in Florida. What are the electrical requirements for the Twilight 240 hot tub? It is 240 volts and you need a designated 50 amp breaker for that hot tub. It will need to be hardwired by an electrician. So it's directly wired to the hot tub, just like any of our larger uh, 240 tubs. So does, there, does anyone here want to see the 240? Because we never have a 240. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Let us show you. This place is the very best place to look at stuff. All right, walking up. All right, check it out. So this, got it? All right, so this is a Twilight 240, world's smallest two pump therapy tub. All right, you can see the jets. This actually is 205 gallons. Over here, you have one person, pump one, pump two, out of water neck and shoulder jets. It's a little maniac, okay? I love this tub. It's the world's smallest two pump therapy tub. Sometimes people come in and they're looking at this and they're expecting it to be, you know, super duper inexpensive. This is a performance therapy tub. Think Porsche 911. It is awesome. Okay. The performance is absolutely epic. I love this tub and you can fit them almost anywhere. So, all right, Kim, uh, we have no control over the volume here. Uh, crank your volume up and see if it's that. Uh, no one else has said that they can't hear, but yeah. we are, you know, we're in a big giant room. There could be some echo, could be some weird stuff. All right. All right. All right. What's next? Next question is, and we can go back to the swim spa. How do you clean a swim spa? Does someone come out to empty, clean, and maintain it? So that's from Bob in South Carolina. Typically, no. Um, typically, you would need to empty your swim spa. You need to drain it about once a year. And you'll need to 
you need to add, on a normal basis, you'll need to add a little bit of chlorine at the end of each use. You need to rinse out your filters once a month and then drain and refill it about once a year. So you need to get a submersible pump or you need to siphon the water out once a year with a hose. If, okay, if you need to clean it, we recommend using like a vinegar cleaner. Like when I really like the Windex vinegar cleaner. She loves the Windex. I do. It does a really great job of cleaning the acrylic and your fixtures and the jets. And then um, maintaining the swim spa. If you go back to many of our other videos um, from YouTube, you will see um, the best the best practices for maintaining the swim spa. But it is an owner, it's pretty much an owner's responsibility to do all of those things. Typically, dealers and, wouldn't have that and it, and it's, feature. It's, it's, it's pretty easy. easy. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, want you to think you like you have to have someone come do it. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, the first one, people are typically a little, little nervous over. Um, but once you do it once, you're golden, you're a pro, and it'll never be a thing again. Yeah. Okay. Next question is from Eric in Indiana. Are there any special things that need to be done when the winter temperatures are in the negative digits to prevent any damage to the hot tub? So these are, um, if you have a master spas hot tub, which obviously that's what we're promoting here, they are insulated with open cell insulation. So they are made for the very cold temperatures of Indiana, of the Northeast, Wisconsin, um, Canada. Uh, so we recommend leaving it up and running and to use it all winter long because that's what it's made for. That's the best time. The cover is going to be a snow load insulated cover that is thick. It's tapered. It seals the tub so there's no heat or moisture escape. It is a locking cover. So you'll want to keep the cover on when you're not using it in the winter time. But the best thing to do is to keep the water in it and, and keep it nice and warm and use it in the winter time. I mean, that, I would think that was that would be our best recommendation Absolutely. for it. Absolutely. Have fun with it. That's the best time. So, all right. so those were all of the, the pre-questions that we had. If anyone has any other questions, uh, again, we are in the Master Spa's main showroom Let's go in show Fort them Wayne, the Indiana, and we've got lots of product in here that we can answer any we of have your a, questions. We have a wet Michael Phelps momentum yeah, on the floor. Them. Let's go play. Check this thing out. We had training in here this week. We just finished up for the week. This is a Challenger 18. Then this guy... is crazy crazy oh there's no this was switched it's a trainer 19. oh this was a michael phelps momentum last week <laughs> it is not anymore okay <laughs> we stand never for... mind <laughs> so but this... it is this is a, a trainer 19. when the heck did they change this i don't know so we were here 10 days ago and this was a Michael Phelps momentum and then I never, I just assumed it was the same one. I never actually jumped up the steps and looked this week. So this is a Trainer 19, but it's still, I wanna show it because it's dual temp. So when people see all the, the emails and the marketing, all the, the really sexy shots, they're always of a dual temp and that's this one. And I'll show you why. What you have here, is there a set of steps on the end? I don't know. Yes. Bear with me. Bear with me. Right there. Okay? So what you have right here, you have hot tub. This can be 100, 101, 2, 3, 4. And then you have the swim side. The swim side can be pool temperature, 80 degrees. So two separate temperatures at the same time. It's just the, the most crazy thing we've ever built. And people go bananas when they see them. The lights and the waterfalls. This thing looks like an airport runway when you light it up at night. Just super freaking awesome. Okay. Turning it on, Mayor. Hot tub side, swim spot. You can do it all at the same side, same time. It's just really awesome. So, people most of the time. When they see our ads, this is what they're seeing, and it is big.
Yep. Gorgeous. Therapy Cove. That looks good. All right. All right. What else would you guys like to see that we have here? We've got Twilights. I've got an open one. Check it out. So this is what we're talking about. All right. We never get to show this stuff. So inside here, you got Balboa pumps controls. That's your main pack. All right. Then that's where the electrical goes in. Uh, Jim, I got a question here. Give me two seconds. So you got your pumps, all PVC, unions. This is the insulation. Let me reach up in here. I'm going to steal just a little tiny piece. This is isonine insulation, open cell insulation, soft, so it's serviceable, but super high R value, two by four construction, plastic on the bottom. So vapor barrier is plastic, it's totally sealed. It's just awesome, really well done. Okay, so Jim has a question. Okay. For the 15D, can the electrical enter from any of the four corners of the swim spot or does it need to enter from a specific corner or end. Let me show you what I did. Oh, I've got a swim. Uh, they're all. So, so picture this was the corner. So where I routed mine through, I routed mine right there. And you can do that on any side. What you don't want to do, if this is the end of your swim spot, I realize this is a hot tub, but it's the same rules. If you have the obviously the cabinet is going to be there if you run the electrical through the cabinet when you need to remove the cabinet for service the electrical wire is going to get in the way so you don't want to run it through on the actual service panel where the majority of your work is going to be done so i like that corner right next to it that's what we did also so if this was a swim spot this was your service end you know the eight foot end uh, behind the hot tub seats you can go in on this corner but you could also go in over here so if you go in over here, it's not really going to get in the way. And then it's just going to sneak right through. As you can see, it would sneak right through that open space and then come up. And then this is where it's going to terminate. So right here, you can see that hole. See that? I'll get that. Yeah, right there. That's where the wire's going in. This is where your ground goes. And then inside, you've got three lugs. And that's where your wire connects to. Okay? So that's pretty easy. What's next? I don't know. Any other? Anybody have any other questions while we're here? We've got, I mean, we've got a Valeris we can show, and we've got the saunas we can show. You yeah. guys want to see that stuff? Let's go show them. Yeah. All right, cool. What's next, Valeris? Sure. Let's go. My 2014 Twilight TS Fit heater just went, waiting for part and service. Missing using my swim spa. Kim Irvine. So, Kim... The Twilight TS Fit is now called the Therapool D, D, which is the one my mother has. I love that tub. I have always loved that, that tub. It's been a favorite. And uh, obviously, you know, I recommended it for my own mother to uh, do. And I saw you on there, Mom. Hello, Mama. I love you. I saw you on there. So, Kim, huge fan. I just think that is such a fun swim spa you know slash hot tub it's so much fun and i'll tell you what no one has ever loved them more than my mom okay so all right check it out so this this is an interesting little guy here seven by seven and what you're looking at this is called the valeris seven by seven it's a square over here you have the cold tub so this has a chiller so this is the cold immersion therapy tub, which I realize is not for everybody, but it is very good for you. And then this is the hot tub side. So you can do the contrast hopping back and forth right over there at the same time. And, it, and like, like the dual temp swim spa, you can do two separate temperatures at the same time, which is really awesome. So this is a lot of fun. And then what I'm sitting on here, we've got a couple this is the Alpine, which you can see has been roughed up and taken apart and everyone's played on it and played in it. So this is the regular Alpine. Hmm? Yeah. So then you've got this guy, the Valeris, and then dual temp, single temp. 
And then behind there, you might have caught a peak of the new Matterhorn. It's not quite out yet. It's coming close, so I can't show that, but you may have caught a peak of it, okay? So we can give you the peak. And that's also a cold tub. So if you want to take that, go show the saunas. All right, so we're going to head over to the saunas. We have three sweaty goat. So those were just the chili goats. And we're going over to the sweaty goat saunas now. Um, Paul asked, when is summer... When it's summertime hot, what hot tub temperature do you recommend for comfort? Whatever works for you. So I personally like 100 or 101 even in the summertime. Some people bring it down to high 90s. It's a, it's a total preference. Some people will go all the way down to 85 to, to have it be more refreshing. There is no right answer for that. So Master Spas has three sweaty goat saunas this is the two person it is called the, the the mp2 um these these aren't actually plugged in right now they're just on display so you could see you could cozily fit two people in there and our saunas are full spec full spectrum infrared and there's 360 degrees of heat so they're really awesome, and they they do a really great job as an infrared sauna. When, I, when I'm in here, I feel like it's a fort, and I'm a kid again. <laughs> it feels like a fort. It's so cool. There's just so much going on. Yeah. Um, there is there is chromotherapy lighting. There's Bluetooth speakers. There's foot heaters and calf heaters, and basically, like I said, heaters 365 degrees around. This is the MP3 sauna, which is a little bit bigger. So, um, yep, there's Ben. He's actually lying down on that seat there. This was the idea. And again, you've got, there's your lighting and your speakers and the control panel here. I love the three. Yeah, the three is really nice. Definitely, two people would definitely fit and you could definitely like stretching out and then you could squeeze three people in there for sure. And then we have this neat little model here. This is the MP3 corner unit. So it's a little bit bigger than the MP3. So you have um, like a little corner in here and this is, it's a little bit bigger than the MP3. Really great looking unit. This one is plenty of room to stretch out. It fits in a corner. Awesome, yeah. It has a cup holder. So those are the three Sweaty Goat saunas that Master Spas has recently launched along with the Chili Goat cold tubs, which, which have been which have been available for a while now, so. All right, any last minute questions before we wrap up today? Uh, we are planning on being back to a little bit of a normal routine, uh, at least for a little bit, um, starting in two weeks. So that would bring us to the first Wednesday in April. And we will be back to normal Facebook Live, probably in our warehouse. Um, back in Connecticut so we will see everybody there if you have any last minute questions post them now put them on. We'll get and if them you tonight. have them we'll get we'll get back to them tonight and it's almost is it, it is, is it almost spring. spring is it officially spring um no I think the 20th or the 21st so that's tomorrow. Uh, is that tomorrow? tomorrow or today I don't know April 3rd yeah I think that's when we will be back and um, we will see everybody then we hope um, y'all have a great start of your spring yes it's springtime i'm yep. ready no more winter uh when we got to fort wayne on um, what day was that Sun monday which day sunday we got night there sunday it was 30 degrees 30 degrees and then it was snowing what day okay did it, what day did it so snow? tomorrow is the first day of spring tomorrow's the first day of it spring. was snowing yesterday it was snowing yesterday like yeah. snowing here yeah and i'm like oh come on well, yeah even though the winter wasn't that terrible in oh, northeast no. i'm sorry was it snowing yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. I don't it was, think it was yesterday. I think it was Monday. Uh, I can't keep track anymore. 
All right. It's snowing this week. Yes. No more snow. No more snow. Bring on spring, and we will see you in two weeks on our normal Facebook Live time, 4 o'clock Eastern in two weeks. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll Have a great night, everybody.